Lucas, Luke 13. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galilim, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahusha answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galilim were sinners above all the Galilim, because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen, upon whom the tower in Shiloh fell, and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Yerushalayim? I tell you, nay. But, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He spoke also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came upon and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbers it at the ground? And he answering said unto him, My lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that you shall cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Shabbat, and behold, there was a woman which had a ruach of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Yahusha saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified Yah. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Yahusha had healed on the Shabbat, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work, in them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Shabbat. And that, rather, Adonai then answered him and said, You hypocrite! Do not each one of you on the Shabbat loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Avraham, whom Satan has bound, lo, these eighteen years be loosed from this bond on the Shabbat? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Then said he, Unto what is the kingdom of Yahweh like, and whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into his garden, and it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged, in the branches of it. And again he said, Whereunto shall I liken at the kingdom of Yahweh? It is like leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Yerushalayim. Then said one unto him, Adonai, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and has shut the door, and ye begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Adonai, Adonai, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunken in your presence, and you have taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. 
Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When ye shall see at Avraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov and at all the prophets in the kingdom of Yahuwah and you yourselves thrust out and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of Yahuwah. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came certain of the Padashim, saying unto him, Get you out and depart hence, for Herod will kill you. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, behold, I cast out devils, and I do curses, rather, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the following day, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Yerushalayim. O Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, which kill the prophets and stone them that are sent unto you. How often would I have gathered your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and amen, I say unto you, ye shall not see me, until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahuwah.